Hey dear friends, welcome back to JavaFX tutorial. Uh, today I wanna work with uh, some component in JavaFX, and today I I wanna I wanna use my um, Windows OS. Okay, so let's create a new project. Uh, Today uh, I'm using NetBean. Also, can download this NetBeans product from the Oracle Corporation. From here, you can add new project, or you want to click here. Okay, then you can create a job job application, and then uh, you go to your job fix application, or you want to create a job fix application. Okay. Uh, make sure that is Java fix application. There is some another option like fxml, but we choose Java fix application. Uh, Java Java fix app. Okay, and there uh, it will automatically create a, um, pri uh, a package Java fix app. I want to name that as main. Okay, this is a package inside the SRS folder, and then the inside the main package will create uh, the Java. Uh, uh, I will create it a JavaFX app class. Okay, Java FX FX app class. Okay, this will create. So. Now let's script. Okay. Okay, that's script. As you can see, now we have an application JavaFX app inside the source default package. We have a main package, and inside the main package, we have a class named JavaFX app. And it's automatically extended from application class which makes our Java fix application and then uh, we have we here we are have uh, abstract method because application is an abstract class and that has an one abstract method at this start and it has a it has a stage parameter and as you can see here is something else okay if I run as you can see here a frame will open that frame is this stage and inside that we have the scene our scene is the width, uh, the width of our scene is uh, 30, 100, 300, and 250, and 100, the height. Okay, and the layout is the root. Our layout is stack pan. And we have inside the stack pan layout just a button. The button is say hello word button okay and set an action is when we click the button this set an action will execute okay so if i click here here well as you can see hello world if i click again hello world will print it again so this is this was job fix application i I want to work for you from the first so I want to clean that and uh, also I want to uh, clean this okay oh that is Muhammad and also this is my website it is under construction please uh 
see my website so bar na med at me okay also i have uh, i have website and also yeah yeah youtube okay youtube youtube.com slash bad not mom okay this is my youtube channel so i want to clean this we have a package man as you can see here is our package what is up oh yes okay this is our package i want to clean this if you want to make a job fix application you should extend from application okay you should extend from application class this application class comes from comes from you can import by import keyword from JavaFX package that application and that application package and that application class okay now the application class imported we have a JavaFX app which it shows for us an error this error because of application because application is an, ab an abstract class this has an abstract method okay so we should implement that public void that is start method okay okay that is start method why hey that is a start method you can tell that this is from the parent class and this has and this has a parameter you can name it stage okay and you should import the stage also import job fix that stage that stage okay like that now you can start or initialize your component here now I want to make private a variable from the stage class okay from the stage class okay and then I want to initialize that stage with the stage pass to the start part method okay then or I wanna make this name frame okay frame because stitch is a frame now now we need a scene because we put scene in our stage okay is uh, if you see this is a stage this is a frame okay but inside the frame all this can be a scene so we need a scene scene is equal to new scene okay scene can take one parameter that is just a layout okay for example you can put here new stack pan now i want to create jawfx import jawfx i think all the layout comes from the controls jawfx that scene okay that control and stack pan 
so if uh, you forgot uh, which package in which package this class exists if you are using id that automatically will import it for example now i want to use stack pan okay stack pan as you can see stack pan comes from the java fix that scene not control from the layout package okay as you can see yeah. java fix that scene that layout that stack pan from the layout not from the not from the other okay there is can be just oh yeah now now you need to import scene also if you click here also oh, you can use you can put cursor on your component or on your class you want to import and then control space or you can click here and then click import as you can see this scene comes from the scene okay now now you can frame you can put your scene inside the frame by the set stage okay set scene okay method set scene and then pass the scene okay and then frame dot show okay now if i run as you can see here is a simple javafx application opened okay so nice so if you want to make the size of your frame to specify to specify that uh, you may think uh, we can make our frame by that set size okay we doesn't have uh, a size okay here I'll set or we doesn't have that set prep size okay as you can see there is not a size method okay here is not size method okay so you just specify the size of your scene okay for example the width is four 400 and the height is uh, 300 okay as you can see now our frame is smaller than per than the previous so and the other parameter is a color okay a color for example as you can see here you can see the color every color you like well, you like okay this is the color and the color also comes from the scene but from the paint from the paint package okay now if i run the color of our scene will be changed okay this is the color but this is not useful as a team so you can make more scene and you can go between your scene okay so first of all first of all I want to make a button okay button control space make sure the button mm, do not come from the java.awt at this very older package of java make sure 
it comes from JavaFX that is in that control that button. Okay. Example button click <coughs> new button. Here if you see the button has three constructor method. A constructor method with no parameter, a constructor method with a title a string text okay and the title and with a node node can be an image okay so now i want to use just click me okay and you can put your button as a parameter for the stack pan constructor method okay now if i run again button is here okay button is here so f f f f f f i want to register our button click and then that's I want to call set on action okay set on action and here you create an anonymous class by new event handler okay and make sure event handler comes from JavaFX that event okay event handler and event handler is a generic interface okay it is a generic interface here can be different class to pass that okay for example application action event or the other okay any event you like it now I want to use the action event okay and also you need to import the event handler from the JavaFX that event handler okay and then here what And inside this anonymous class you have to overwrite a method handle okay and that takes a parameter from the action event okay class so Mm, what is wrong here? Uh, okay, here you should put a semicolon after new event handler. Okay, and then you can make something here. Okay. Now, if I run our, our application, it will print out something. Okay, this is the way you can make live your button. Okay, when click, when you when you click, uh, every code write it right inside the handle method it will execute okay now you can have multiple multiple code on the statement inside your handle method as you can see okay but in JavaFX8 there is a concept lambda expression okay lambda expression as you can see here is much more code 
with the lambda expression you clean all that just type a parameter and then the lambda expression and then your code but here is if your code is one statement it can be without block okay I will run again oh it works nice okay it works nice so if you have multiple statement if you have multiple statements then you need here the block okay like this oh this works nice okay this works nice also instead of this what happens also instead of this you can put just this okay and then if you like if you want to work like this you make sure that implement event handler should be should be implemented uh, on your class okay now I want to use the action event and handler event handler event handler now has a handle method okay public void handle and the handle method as a parameter it is action event okay okay and then make sure this should be all right oh as you can see uh, as you can see uh, that tells us that this is not overrated so let's have a look what's the problem okay here is the event handler oh yes we have wrong here now it's okay okay event handle now if i if i have some string here it will it will it will work nice again as you can see it works nice okay it works nice so if you want to go between scene you can create here multiple scene okay scene and scene one s c n two okay scene one and scene two now let's cut this and then we can copy that here okay this is a scene one for example okay and I want to make another stack pan and I want to name that stack is equal to new stack pan okay and now I want to create another button btn is equal to new button 
back to whom okay I want to change this go to second scene back to home okay and then and then I want to initialize the other scene scene 2 also let's let's rename this okay vtn1 and create here private btn1 and btn2 okay btn1 btn1 okay also this btn2 and this layout is our stack layout okay we can add also like this stack that get children that add btn2 okay like this and btn2 that set on action this now instead of this f e dot get source is equal to bt n one it f was bt n one then frame dot set scene scene one okay else frame dot set scene scene two okay okay so let's check that now we are in the first scene it, it will us go to the second scene okay okay it, it does it doesn't work so let's see what's the problem set so scene scene one okay the oh set scene here should be scene two and here scene one okay here also we can check f e dot get source btn2 f was the btn2 then it back again in the scene one code ah yes it works nice back to home. go to scan scene okay now if i change the color oh now the color is not visible why because they stack for example if this was green and if I change the layout for example new group okay
and this all set was group okay now let's run our application oh yes yes this works nice go to second scene back to first scene okay so this works nice so thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our my channel